Hello there, I'm Matt Schlicht, CEO of Octane AI, and we help so many big online e-commerce brands with real-time messaging for e-commerce. And there's so much that goes into this, and it's been so successful for the brands that we work with. And we've worked with well over a thousand, where already they're generating a huge amount of revenue, and it's clear that if you're not, if you're an e-commerce brand and you're not on top of your real-time messaging strategy right now, you're falling behind and you're definitely leaving money on the table. And there's a lot of things to go into when explaining how real-time messaging works. It's in some ways it's similar to what you're doing with email, but in other ways it's it's quite different. And so we've created this masterclass, the e-commerce messenger masterclass, so that we can show you what we've learned with working with all of these brands. Uh, some are small, some are making hundreds of millions of dollars. And we're, we're here to show you how they're doing this, how this stuff works, what the strategies are, what the best practices are, what we've learned, and how you should be thinking about it. So whether you're an agency or you work at an e-commerce brand, we've created this for you. And so this is the introduction to real-time messaging for e-commerce. And so the first thing that I want to explain to you is, you know, why, why are we even paying attention to this? And so one thing that's important is email. Email isn't enough. Consumers also want to message. So you're already doing email, but email is not enough. And, and the reason we say this, and the reason I'm saying this right now, is because over the past three years, there's been a 45% decrease in engagement with emails. So open rate with emails, 45%, 45% decrease. Uh, and so it's going, it's going down. Whereas messaging on the other side, over the past five years, there's been a 54% uh, increase. And so it's increasing super, super fast. Uh, and, and it's definitely something to pay attention to. And then in this survey that was done by Twilio, nine out of 10 consumers said that they wish they could message with their favorite brands. And so what we're seeing here is there's a decrease in email, increase in messaging, and consumers want to message uh, with their favorite brands. And so the market is telling us that messaging is important and we should definitely be paying attention to it. And what's, what's amazing and really interesting is that messaging can do things email can't. And so we're not in a situation where you're gonna choose, do I do email or do I do messaging? You're gonna to wanna to do both because these, these things are quite different. Email, the way you have it set up right now, is probably when certain things happen, your customers are gonna get an email, but they don't have the ability to respond to that email. The email, the email, is, not, the email is not interactive. Uh, it's just a one-way situation. Whereas with messaging, when a brand messages you, because you're so used to messaging with your friends and your family and your colleagues, if a brand messages you, you're gonna go message back. And so now it's a conversation. It's not just a notification, it's a conversation where the customer can learn more about the brand and the brand can learn more about the customer and the notification is just a, is a starting point. And so you can do a lot of things with messaging that you can't do with email. And the third thing is that messaging as a channel is a huge, huge opportunity. It's a massive opportunity and it's only gonna get bigger. One, there's over 4 billion people who are actively messaging with each other right now in the world and that's only gonna go up. Two, messaging gets crazy open rates. When you send an email, the open rate can even be in the single digits. Whereas when you send somebody a message, even if that message is coming from a brand, we're seeing open rates of over 90%. And this is, this is crazy. This is more higher open rate than any other channel you're used to. And the last thing, and this is something that is amazing and you need to pay attention to. And again, I only believe that this is going to go up and I think it's going to go up by a lot. Right now, with the brands that we work with, so we're working with over a thousand brands uh, with real-time messaging for e-commerce, they're generating anywhere from five to over 10% of their revenue from real-time messaging channels. And so over the next five years, as messaging increases and this becomes even more the predominant way that humans communicate with each other and humans and brands communicate with each other, right now it might be five to 10% of the revenue. In five years, it could be 80%. And so it's important that you are jumping on this channel now, uh, if you haven't already, and starting to build up your real-time messaging strategies. Now, the key, the key to real-time messaging for e-commerce is you need to focus on the customer journey. And so this is a typical customer journey. This isn't going to look like everybody's, but it's probably very similar to how yours is set up or how your, your clients are set up. 
Uh, and the key is that you want to message customers throughout the journey. So you don't want to message all your customers at the same time or just blast them with sales and promotions, but you want to be tracking the individual points in each individual's customer journey and you want to be sending them personalized messages uh, to each individual throughout that journey. So for example, when somebody comes to your website, you can get them to opt in to receiving these real-time messages over the different real-time messaging channels, uh, like Facebook Messenger, for example, and you'll get them to opt in. Then let's say that that customer leaves. Maybe they didn't find anything yet and they, they got distracted, they had to go eat, so they leave. Now what you can do is you could automatically send them a message uh, saying, hey, thank you so much for stopping by, here's like a discount. Or hey, I saw you were looking at this pair of shoes. Uh, I think it would go really well with, with these pants. And so you can send them this browse abandonment uh, message uh, even though you don't even have their email address yet. And then as it continues, when they add to the cart, then you could send them a cart abandonment message. When they go and they complete an order, you can automatically send them an order confirmation, which is great because from what we've seen, people may get order confirmation emails, but they don't check them. And that means that they don't know what's going on with their order. They're not even sure if it went through. And a lot of times they'll go message customer support and say, hey, where's my order? Whereas if you're sending this over a real-time messaging channel, it's gonna get sent to the customer as a push notification. It's gonna vibrate their phone and they're gonna feel really in control and they're gonna feel like you're taking care of them. So the package is shipped, you can send them a shipping confirmation, it's delivered, send them a delivery confirmation, and then even after that, you can send them re-engagement campaigns, uh, win back, maybe they haven't bought a product in three months and you want them to come back. You want them to upgrade, uh, you wanna do an upsell, maybe they've purchased, uh, like shampoo a couple times, but you want to get them on subscription and you want to automatically encourage that. These are all the types of messages that you can be doing in a completely automated and conversational channel, uh, almost like a concierge. It's like an automated concierge. It's, it's, it's a whole nother level. And this is going to be the biggest channel over the next five years. And once people are getting these messages, because this, uh, because these messaging channels are so sacred and they're so used to being able to interact back, when they get messages throughout their customer journey, they are gonna send you messages back. And so it's important that when they send you messages back and they ask you questions, where's my order? How long is it gonna to take to get here? When is this gonna be back in stock? Uh, do you, how does your sizing work? When they ask you these questions, then you're gonna to wanna to set up customer support AI. And this AI is gonna be able to recognize 90% of these questions and get a response back super, super fast. And if the AI doesn't know the answer, then it can pass it over to a human. And so you can kind of look at it where it, it's almost like the same interaction someone might have when they go in a store. They go in a physical uh, location, you're gonna have staff there that can help them, that can answer their questions, that can ch help them check out at the register, help them take their bags out, you know, whatever it is. Now you have a digital version of that that can do it with 1,000, 2,000, 10 million, a billion people at the exact same time because it's a computer and, and you don't have to hire a bunch of people to do it. And if anybody has any questions, it can, it can answer those questions. And if the, if the AI doesn't know the answer, it can pass it off to a person. So this is what real-time messaging looks like. You want to really focus on the customer journey. That's super key. But if you want to send out campaigns, uh, you can do that as well. So if you want to be sending out you know, there's a new sale, there's new products, it's the holidays, you can be sending out super targeted or widespread uh, messages uh, really easily. Now, how does this work? So uh, basically what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to connect your online store, right? So your e-commerce brand, and we're going to want to connect your database to something like Octane AI. And so what Octane AI does is you're going to connect your store to it. So let's say you have a Shopify store, you can connect your Shopify store to Octane AI, uh, and then Octane AI is going to be detecting all those trigger events because it's tracking the database. So did somebody add something to their cart? Did somebody look at something? Did somebody leave? Did somebody complete a purchase? It's going to be tracking all those little things so that it can trigger messages at the right time that are personalized for that customer. On the other hand, you're going to want to connect your messaging channel. So for example, Facebook Messenger. You can fit your Facebook, uh, your brand's Facebook page to Octane AI. And what this is, allows Octane AI to do is it can now send that message as that Facebook page to the customer. So when something is triggered, let's say that someone went and added an item to their cart and then abandoned it, so that was triggered, then Octane AI notices that, then automatically sends that customer a message through your Facebook page saying, hey, uh, we saw that you 
had this item in your cart. We think you'd look really great with it. Here's a 5% discount code. You know, come complete your purchase now. And that is how all of this works. And so it's really important that you have your database connected so that you can do customer journey messaging and then it can be seamless uh, through your messaging channels. Now, here's, here's what I wanna leave you with. These are the three pillars of real-time messaging for e-commerce. And you're gonna hear me talk about this again and again and again and again. And I really am want you to remember this and live by this and build your strategy around it because you don't wanna skip any of these. And that's grow, engage, and support. These are the three pillars of real-time messaging for e-commerce. Let me say that again. Grow, engage, and support. And so you need to do them in this order because grow. You need to be putting in opt-ins, ways for people to opt into this messaging channels so that you actually can communicate with them there. Because if you're not taking that step to build in places in your website and in your flows and your onboarding experience and your checkout experience, if you're not putting in ways to grow, then you're not gonna be able to engage with them later. You're not gonna be able to send them an abandoned cart message. You're not gonna be able to do any customer journey notifications or messages or conversations. And you're definitely not gonna be able to support them because you didn't even connect with them in the first place. And so you want to focus on grow. Once you've got grow and you have your customers and you have people who are connecting with you on these real-time messaging channels, then you can do engage. And engage, this is where you're setting up. What are those messages you're gonna send out? What is your customer journey or your client's customer journey? Are you gonna do an abandoned cart message? Are you gonna do uh, a win back and uh, order confirmation and delivery confirmation? Are you gonna ask them to leave reviews? Are you gonna ask them to you know, upgrade to a subscription? What are the things that you're gonna do? And if you're only right now doing something like abandoned cart messages, you definitely need to focus a lot on engage because you're only at the tip of the iceberg and there's so much more that you can be doing and you're definitely leaving a ton of money on the table. And the last thing is support. Right? So again, the more we have people that we're sending messages to, that means the more people are gonna be sending messages back to us. And they're gonna be asking us a ton of questions. Mostly the same questions over and over again. So where's my order? When is this back in stock? How does sizing work? And we can use uh, customer support AI to automatically answer those. And so this is what the masterclass is about. This is what the other videos are about. Go learn about Grow. Go learn about Engage. Go learn about Support. I dive deeper into all three of the pillars in my other videos. And I'm so excited to have you in this masterclass because again, this is all we're doing at Octane AI. We work with so many brands on this every day. And these are brands where maybe they're, they're just starting out or maybe they're making hundreds of millions of dollars a year. And we've seen the best practices. We've been working on this for so long and we know it's new, but because we're seeing that these e-commerce brands are generating anywhere from five to over 10% of their revenue from real-time messaging channels, we think it's so important that we can share this knowledge with you. Uh, and we're so honored to be here because the e-commerce industry is such an amazing and inspiring industry to be a part of because you, everyone out there watching this, are such go-getters and you're so nice and you're so supportive and we're just so happy to be able to, to add something back and, and to give back to you. So if you have any questions, if you have any comments, uh, if you want to share something really interesting that you're doing with us, uh, reach out to me, leave a comment, uh, reach out to my team. Uh, we're, we're here to help. Um, Octane AI, this is what we do all day long. And again, thank you so much for being in this masterclass, and I will see you, I will see you soon.